turning the wheels back and forth. Do it now. Make the noise there. Now we're going to see what we can do about taking care of this noise. Man. What we need to do is use this special tool to try to evacuate the air. Power steering cap off. And this plug right here is like for an old 350. And it just so happens that it fits in there really good. You can kind of work it down in the in the hole. Get it in place. There you go. Now we got a good solid connection there that won't let any air in as long as we're putting a vacuum on this clear line right here. We're going to actually force the air to come out of it and go somewhere else. We install this in between. We're turning the wheels back and forth and when bubbles stop coming up through the clear hose, we'll know we have all the air out of the system and the power steering should be quiet. So we got some vacuum through the bottle and the power steering system. It's actually sucking the air out of the power steering system and it's pulling it out the top. This keeps the transmission fluid from going into the engine. Now the GM procedure for this calls for using a vacuum pump, but this seems to me like it makes more sense. When the engine switched off and the vacuum trapped at the power steering pump, we stand here for five minutes and we let those bubbles come up out of that fluid so we can finish bringing them out of here. We just pulled a little fluid into our tank here. But not much. Yeah, but not a whole lot. Good job, you don't hold it. So, a little bit of time. Uh,